In the 90s, Sega didn't have many IPs outside of Sonic the Hedgehog, Puyo Puyo, Alex Kidd, Bug, Fantasy Star, and Echo the Dolphin. You would hardly see releases for franchise outside the iconic blue blur from Sega, and that's understandable. Sonic the Hedgehog was, and still is, their highest grossing franchise. But that didn't stop Sega from dishing out new titles in the Saturn and Dreamcast era, like Knights, Jet Set Radio, Crazy Taxi, Samba de Amigo, and today's topic, Space Channel 5, a rhythm action game developed by Sega for their Dreamcast console in 1999 in Japan and 2000 worldwide. The franchise's appeal would garner some very cool merchandise, ranging from cool promos to figures and statues. Let's dance for Space Channel 5 merchandise! The first game exclusively released for the Dreamcast and this lunchbox was given to retailers to promote Space Channel 5. Inside contains a VHS tape, the game itself, Planet Dance, which is a sample CD, a sticker of the logo, and what appears to be a temporary tattoo. All around the tin has some of the Space Channel 5 characters. These promo shirts were either worn by Sega employees or given to attendees at an event like E3. Each shirt has the game's logo. They differ with the color and characters they feature. These magnets were also used for promotion. What's cool about these is that you can dress Ulala in the featured outfits. CD soundtracks include the core soundtrack released in the year 2000, and this CD with remix tracks of various songs. Is this the soundtrack? No. It's a promotional ROM. The pink multifold CD is Notorious Mexican Flyer, which is basically the theme of the game. Guidebooks include this Japanese book, and this English book by Prima. Inside a gachapon machine was this Space Channel 5 button. Not much is known about it, but it exists. Bone straps of Ulala and a Morlean. They come in slim cardboard packaging. Similarly are these keychains of the same characters. These keychain figures are in various colors of the Morlean aliens. They kind of look like they can be bendable, but that is pure speculation. Ulala and Pink Morlean were part of the Sega Uva plush line in 1999. These are the only Space Channel 5 plushes to exist, making them highly desirable by collectors. It may be the lighting or the camera, but there appears to be a variant of Ulala in a higher contrast. Very interesting. By Palisades are these display figures of different Space Channel 5 characters. Each come in a cool blister box with a card showcasing the figure in question, as well as one you can collect. This calendar is for years 2000 to 2001 and features Ulala on the front cover. Sadly, there is no pictures of the interior. Ulala's Channel J is a mobile game for Japanese Vodafone devices released in July 2001. These flags or banners would be displayed in stores where you can get the Vodafone. Promos for this include a paper fan with Ulala on the front and a logo on the back and a clear file. Ulala was part of the Sega Gals Gachapon line, you can build her, and then have a minifigure. Wizard World promoted an event themed after Space Channel 5 with this space outfit Ulala figure. It's said that only 300 of them were made. It comes in a lunchbox and was made by Palisades. Another figure or statue is this resin statue that you could have gotten at Tower Records. Looks very fragile. This is the non-stop Mega Mix CD likely contains more remixes or a variety of songs from Space Channel 5. At E3 in 2001, these inflatable Morlean were worn by staff and were handed out to those who played the demo to Space Channel 5 Part 2. Which is the next game? There's a special package version which contains the game, headphones, and a pouch that you can put a CD player in. This clock, towel, and keychain are promos for Space Channel 5 Part 2. There are various clocks. Not sure if these are official, but they appear to be as they vary in shapes. This CD is the soundtrack for the game, and there's another remix CD by Moji Moji. The statue of Ulala is a 1-6 scale, and she's in a nice pose. Kind of reminds me of the iconic Rolling Girl pose. No one? Okay, fine. These are nifty soft vinyl figures of the Morleans. Not much is known about them other than the fact they are officially licensed by Sega. My good smile is this Figma of Ulala. She comes with face plates and Morleans. 
there's also a Cherry Light version. 2019 was when Space Channel 5 celebrated its 20th anniversary, and Games Glorious collabed with the franchise to make t-shirts in different colors. The art is wicked cool for this collab, and there's also a keychain. I am a bit made this 20th anniversary CD exclusively imported from their Japanese store, and it includes old favorites and new tracks on the VR release, and the booklet includes commentary from developers of the game. Space Channel 5 VR Kind of Funky News Flash is the first VR game for the series, and limited run games released it physically with cool bonus items, like a poster, Dreamcast jewel case, the microphone ring, for the PS Moved controller, a fidget spinner, and a Galaxy Blue More Than finger puppet. There's also foil cards. In 2022, Sega Store had an Ulala shirt that's still available in select countries. These are Sophie figures of Ulala and Morlands and other characters. There's acrylic backgrounds you can buy separately to better display these figures. Sadly, these are no longer available for sale, like all of the merch showcased in this video. But you can find them secondhand on various sites like eBay. Good luck! This wacky out of this world franchise has become a staple to Sega as Ulala makes cameos in other Sega titles. Heck, the Space Channel 5 games include Michael Jackson and Hatsune Miku, the king and queen of pop. I love how unhinged a franchise is, and Sega sees potential in it, as we may get a movie of it. Whether it's anime or live action is to be determined. Hopefully we'll get more news about it in the future. In the meantime, keep dancing with funky aliens.